Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and today we are back in Spin Tires Mud Runner and we're going to be checking out two brand new trucks, well I should say really one brand new truck in two different colors as well as a brand new map called Buckland Ridge. Now it's not huge, it's not massive and the interesting thing is that all of the watch points are in a line pretty much with each other. Now this is mainly a trail riding, off-roading map, but we're going to use these two um, Jeep Kaiser M715s by Spun to go ahead and explore the map and hopefully find some challenging terrain. Now we've got the bed rails we can put on one of these. I think one of these we're going to run with like nothing and the other one we're going to put uh, quite a few things on. So let's run, hmm, let's see. This one is getting the jerry cans, not the trailer. Uh, the top, I don't really like the way it looks. I mean, I kind of like it, but at the same time, I feel like it looks a little weird. I feel like the lines of it are just strange. Um, and then the TSL spare, we're definitely going to put in this one. So, that's really all you can do to it. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and get this one started up and head out into the wilderness. Now, these things do look very, very cool. And they also, um, they also have a lot of functionality. I mean, like, we're also, we're going to go ahead and go over to the fuel station and get this thing filled up, uh, with fuel. But we're also fill up the jerry can as well now there's a couple different ways you could leave this garage me personally i'm gonna go i'm gonna go this way because i feel like if we go this way yeah that that points us more in the proper direction rather than going behind the garage itself now this could this could this trail could like turn around backwards and go a completely opposite direction than the way we initially thought like thought it was going to go but oh already right off the bat we're dealing with some fairly cool trail riding um we've got a little bit of like it's it's nothing too difficult just yet it's more like a trail carved out into the woods we've got a little bit of water up ahead but oh oh yes that interior view works very well Steering wheel turns, you can look around at, at everything, everything's rendered properly. Yes, I, I approve of that interior view fully. Now, you've got a few different paths you could take here. I'm going to take, well, I mean, well, okay, so you just got three different ways bef you can go before you go up the hill. The water on this map looks really, really good. Very, very nicely done water. Now, the water, I mean, really, it's the same as it would be in the base game, but I think that depending on where you put it, it really affects the way the water looks, and I think if you put it in the right place, it does tend to look a little bit better. But the only thing that I'm not sure about with that water is that the only way it could be there would be if it rained really hard the previous day, which, you know, is always possible. But at the same time, there's no real source of water that was connected to it. So, while we're here also... Oh, so the headlights were on when we started driving. So let's have them off. Now, there's a little bit of variance in the terrain in terms of, like, verticality and, and, and things like that, but I haven't really found anything that's, like, super challenging yet, and that's, oh, I take back what I just said. I, I, I've <laughs> found something that's very, actually, quite interesting. Definitely, definitely this map leans towards the side of realism, though. It's not super over the top. It's not, you know, massive rocks that you have to jump over with ridiculously overpowered vehicles. It's nothing like that so far. It actually seems like a very, very realistic take on, on honestly, like, what a what a off-road area would look like. What a lot of off-road areas or off-road trails would look like. And keeping with that idea, I think, you know, to be honest, a lot of the trails that you see in real life that you would actually drive down are not, like, super gnarly and nasty the whole time. That's, that's, I think, a common misconception is, if you've never been off-roading, I mean, depending on where you go off-roading, but if you've never been off-roading, a lot of, oh, did that, did, did that really just circle back to the garage? Wow. Damn. All right. But a lot of off-roading in particular does kind of happen on just off-road, um, off-road, like, little trails that really are kind of like logging roads and, 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 and such. You know, and logging roads, they're usually not all that difficult. They're, they're really, like, not all that difficult, usually, the trails that you would do. But not saying that not all logging roads are uh, can be difficult trails. Some of them can be. Some of them can, can be very overgrown and very difficult and challenging. But others, um, if they're well-maintained, are not. Now, these are not really logging roads. These are more like actual um, off-roading trails. But at the same time, I feel like they definitely feel realistic because you're not constantly having to climb up like just ladders of of rocks now 
that there are trails like that, but I think in terms of what you're gonna find, like just by why did the lights turn back on? That's weird. I, I did not turn the lights back on. That's kind of that's kind of strange. But no, the the thing with it is the fact that you is the fact that a lot of these trails, like what we're doing right now, is what a lot of trails are like. To be fair, like uh, this is what a lot of trails are like um, without having those like a ton of ton of rocks, you know, laid out all over the place and things like that. And I think that this this map actually is doing a decent job so far of feeling. In, like like it's inspired by realism now I now I will say though that it needs like it's it needs to have some ch either challenging or very interesting or very pretty sections otherwise I'm not gonna come back and play it again but even if it even if it does have some challenging sections that doesn't mean it can't it can't still be real realistic now let's put it into automatic mode and we'll just stay there for a little while until we get to something that seems moderately, at least, challenging. Let's see. Let's put it in high and... Ooh, it wants to sink. That's weird. This ground texture is a little bit softer than some of the others that we've seen on the... On this particular map as, as of yet. Oh. Oh, okay. So this going both ways could end up being challenging going up and or going down depending on... Going down really more like whether or not it's challenging going down depending depends on how top heavy the vehicle is or e if it's even top heavy um this vehicle is actually not all that top heavy it's actually it actually manages its weight pretty well it also manages its weight balance pretty well which i think is impressive considering the fact that it's a it's a jeep truck you know it's not like some kind of uh it's outside like some kind of like fully built crawler or anything like that now it does have bigger wheels um bigger t well actually i shouldn't really say bigger wheels it's got I mean, actually, it may have smaller than stock, but still, the tires the tires are what make this thing. The tires are huge, as well as the suspension. I mean, it sits quite a bit higher than it would have from the factory. And, of course, you know, you're going to need that on a Kaiser M715, especially one that you're building up to be able to take on pretty much whatever trail it wants. Um, even, even be able to hang with some crawlers if that's what you're into. Go ahead and lumber right over this rock real quick see what's up around the corner there should be a little bit of oh that's interesting a little bit of again the only thing is there's not really that much explanation of why that water is there other than just a random puddle now if there was a stream running through that area and then and then the water had kind of pulled up there because of vehicles driving through it over and over again and kind of rutting it out that would be one thing but there's no running stream, nothing at all, so it just kind of, it's just kind of there. And I know that a lot of maps do that, but it's kind of one of those things that's like, it's too much water to have accumulated from rain, but at the same time, there's no stream running through it to kind of, to kind of like contribute to the fact of why there would be water there. Now, I know that may seem really, really nitpicky, and, and, and honestly, it may be, but at the same time, I like to have, I like for maps to have some kind of like continuity to them. It does have a lot of like, it has a lot of gearing for high range. It, like you can really get up to some speed. All right, where is this cloaking point? It's right over there. It's literally right around the corner. Uh, we're in the water, so it's just gonna like you put it in high in the water, and it's just gonna freaking spin like mad. So let's go ahead and pull real quick. Up and out of the water. Let me get around this corner, and I think... Oh, I see it. I see the outline of it. I'm surprised I didn't notice it earlier. No, oh, I was I was kind of concerned that we were going to go into that tree. And, yeah, that was kind of iffy. Because, honestly, the the whole thing behind... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. There we go. So, full navigation map revealed. Full map explored. And you can even see, when you look on the map itself that the amount of rocks that are actually here, there's really, there's really not many. I mean, there's not enough for me to go like, oh, that's going to be super interesting. And the ones that are here, like these, this is really the only section of the map that has um, a good bit of rock on it. Now, this is really cool, and if there was more of this, this would be, a, like, it would be a really interesting, I think, and fun map. I mean, it's a fun map to explore as it is, because you can actually explore it fairly quickly. But at the same time, 
I feel like there you you could you could add more stuff like what's behind the truck now to the map and it'd make the map uh, a whole lot more fun. So if you guys enjoyed this video in Spin Tires Mud Runner, don't forget to leave me a like, tell me in the comments down below what you guys thought of it, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later.